Hello Sagittarius viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is feeling, thinking, and more importantly what action they might be taking towards you over the next say maybe week or two. I'll be doing another reading in the next within the next couple weeks for you guys to check up on the energy. All right, so let's get into it. So I put the intention in channeling the Sagittarius viewers that are watching this. So for the Sagittarius viewers that are watching this, not why I'm feeling drawn to these three cards. I think that's a specific message really quickly for someone. I got the Six of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and then the Two of Swords. I'll put that right there so you guys can see it. So, so with this combination, again, I feel like this is just a quick message that wanted to come out, um, and then I'm going to get back to the love reading. So for some of you, I feel like like you're a very generous person you're a very giving person and i feel like you might be giving your time and energy to the wrong people at the moment because with the hangman here we we is there's the need to let go of, of people and situations that are holding you back there's a need to kind of just meditate and ground and and look at things from a higher perspective from a from a different perspective and and just kind of let go of anything that's that's holding you back you know it's it's time for a perspective shift i feel like you're giving a lot to a certain situation i feel like for some of you this could be career it could be like i feel like it could be projects like it could be art or music or um or just something something with work there's just a strong energy that it has to do with like work career hobbies um, that kind of generosity where it's like you're investing time and energy and possibly even money into something, but it's it's like you're just kind of being drained of those resources and it's not really going anywhere. So there's this need to be, I feel more independent and stable and maybe, you know, if, if this is if this is, if you're a musician and it's like these people keep asking you to to help them for free or they keep or you're giving a lot to this band but you kind of know that the band is it's like holding like it's not really they don't have as much talent as you do um or with like art projects it's like maybe you're you're giving and giving and this could also be work it's like you're giving and giving to a company but it's, it's like you're not getting anything back like you're not getting promoted you're not getting the band isn't going anywhere. The art projects aren't going anywhere. The um, the whatever this investment is that you're making, it's it's kind of like you need to rethink it. You need to rethink and make sure that there is a mutual um, energy exchange. There should be a mutual given an exchange. And again, I don't think this part of the reading is going to resonate for most of you. I think this is just a message that wanted to pop out really quickly for a couple people that are watching. So, you know, again, we're going to get to another story in just a minute, but just let me finish this really quick. So, so again, there's this need to kind of pause and reflect and, and look at things from a new perspective. Don't just give and give and give and keep, you know, watering this, this dead flowers, basically. Um, with the two of swords here, it's like, like, you got to think, you got to, you got to weigh the, you gotta you gotta balance more and you gotta really think about your options i feel like this is just i feel like and i don't want to discourage anyone because i feel like you do have the talent whatever this is whether it's music art career um i i do feel a strong energy that you you do have the talent like you can be successful with this i just get the feeling that there's certain people in your life that are kind of just dead weight at this point um and you know it might be good for you to do some more independent projects i feel like if you're if this is for a musician i kind of feel like it's it's best for you to for you to be like creating your own songs like your own style you need to stop going with the herd mentality and you need to find yourself more you need to figure out um just what what resonates for you there's just there's just, i just get this energy of these people around you that just are not resonating 
for you. Like they're not quite, it's just not quite the, the energy that you want. And there's just this very strong emphasis on a need for creativity and, you know, outside the box thinking and, and this independent kind of energy where it's like, okay, stop watering these dead flowers and start, start making the kind of music that you want to make. Start making the kind of artwork that you want to make, you know, start, start, um, you know, being an entrepreneur that you want to be. Start, you know, kind of developing into in, in, uh, just this independence and this creativity with your art and your with your career and your hobbies in general. And, and kind of just, you need to stand on your own two feet right now is what I feel. It's not bad to collaborate with people. You know, it, it is, you know, and sometimes you need to do that to get ahead. You do need to collaborate with people. So I'm not saying go and cut everyone, every single person you're collaborating with out. I'm, I'm just saying that... Um, That if someone's trying to just impose their ideas on you and they're not resonating, like they're saying like, oh, we need to make songs that are like this. We need to make some pop songs and you're a rock singer and you're like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> or you're an artist and your art is weird and creative and these people are like, oh, you need to draw like the, something that looks similar to a Vincent Van Gogh painting. And you're like, what? No, that's not me. That's not me. You know what I mean? So it's like, be creative, be stand on your own two feet, be independent. And, and you're going to, if this resonates with you, if this is your story, then you're going to know who to cut out and who not to cut out. Um, you're going to know who the dead weight is because this is your guides have been probably telling you for a while. And we've got the five of swords in the, I was just reshuffling so we can get to the love, the love story here. Um, but you have the, the five of swords and the six of swords here. So, I take that to mean, you know, betrayal, backstabbing, hostility, people that are just kind of all ego, just out for themselves, just not really caring about your opinions, not caring about what you want. And you're you're letting go of those people and you're looking forward to a better life. So you, you are in that process of letting go of that energy. Um, all right, let's see what we can get for love. So for Sagittarius viewers... I sense an X around some of you, an X, that's, is, an X that's missing you a lot. Who is this person? I'm trying to think. I think it's a toxic person, though. I don't think you want to go for it. I just get this. I just got this immediate energy. It's like someone's like crying over you. Someone's upset over you. But I think there's a good reason they're upset. I don't think they're good for you. <laughs> You know, I think you nipped that in the butt already, so they might come through in the reading. Let's see. We'll see what happens. All right, so for the Sagittarius viewers watching this, what do you have to say about love? What is going on with Sagittarius love? Like, what is your, your person? This could be an ex. This could be a new partner. This could be a... Um, current partner, whoever it is, what do, what do, for the Sagittarius viewers, for every, for the Sagittarius that are watching this right now, what do you have to say? Okay. King of Wands. King of Cups, okay. So this is either the energy of you or another person. It's someone who's who's passionate and um you know dedicated and energetic and they're also emotional. They're also let me see here. That's interesting. We got the two of swords and the six of swords again. <laughs> So I kind of feel the energy of a secret admirer here, and I'm just I'm looking at the cards and seeing what I can get from it. So the Hierophant, that's like, that's traditions, that's that's rules to be respected, that's, you, know, you see him on his throne here. And I feel like for you, it's kind of telling you to think about what what your values are, what your traditions are. And it's also telling you that, you know, you, you are being divinely guided at this time. And I felt the energies of two different people here, actually. And with the two of swords here, it's like, well, so the hair is, is, you know, your, your traditional values and also just your guides guiding you. 
um, to make the right decisions. And with the Two of Swords here, it's like you're you're trying to make all these, you're at a crossroads right now in your life, I feel. And so you're trying to make all these different decisions. And I feel like you have two people that are in your energy field. I'm not sure if you're talking to both of them right now, but I just sense two different, either men or women, it's it's whatever, whatever you resonate with, um, two different people that are, are in your energy field. And, you know, with the Two of Swords, it's like you're looking back and you're considering these two different energies and I feel like I want to say that the king of wands because I always intuitively read the cards so you know the king of wands might mean something different to me in the next reading it's it's whatever I, I feel however I feel drawn to interpret it at that time whatever it's, you know that's how I channel these are just a tool that I primarily channel um, with this person I almost feel like they're kind of toxic like I just feel like a Like they're passionate and they're, they're, there's a, that's interesting, there, there's a lizard there if that means anything to you, if they have like a reptilian kind of energy or if they have reptiles themselves. Um, and there's also the lions in the background, I don't know why I'm just being guided to, to look at those lions, it's like, it's someone... I want to say that, like, in this reading, I feel like the lion kind of represents courage, but it's, like, frozen courage. You see how they're, like, they're stone. It's, like, there's that courage there deep down, but they didn't give you that. They didn't show you that part of themselves. Like, they didn't, they might have been courageous. You might have seen that in them. You might have been, like, wow, this person is really courageous and strong, but they didn't actually give you that in, in your relationship or whatever connection you guys had. It's kind of, like, it was just potential, and I feel like I don't feel like this person is like a horrible person. It's like they have the passion and and the courage and the strength, but it's like they're just kind of they they kind of just devoted that energy to everything but you. And with the two of swords looking back, you know, you see how she's like looking at these two different people. And for some of you, I actually feel oddly enough, I, I usually feel like I have primarily female viewers, but for some reason with this specific read, I feel like I actually have some male viewers on here. I don't know why, but I guess I do. Um, I guess I can feel your energy, you guys. Um, so again, th th this could be two women. It doesn't necessarily have to be two men. It's just I'm gonna just say two people, whatever, whatever you're resonating with. And and so yeah, there's this person that's passionate and courageous and um, and fiery, and and they have this this spunk about them. But it's kind of like they just maybe their emotion, maybe they just got out of hand. Like they just. They might have, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to explain that energy. It's like they just, they devoted themselves to everything but you, or it's like their emotions might, there might have been some like conflict, like their emotions kind of got out of hand in a more toxic way. Or they were like just stuck in their ego. It's like they knew they were powerful, but it's like they just, I don't know, I just, I just sense like an energy that just wasn't. It's a little bit of like a cockiness and like an emotional instability is for what I get from this energy. And I get a much better energy from this King of Cups. So I, I do feel like you have two, two women or two men in your energy field. You have two different options. You have two different people. And, you know, I feel like with the Hierophant here, it's, it's your guide saying, what are you going to choose? It's up to you. I'm here to guide you. You know, you have this, this divine guidance um, from the higher realms. I'm being drawn to say the angelic realm. I guess the angels are here and they want me to remind you that, that you have a connection to the angelic realm. I primarily work with gods and goddesses, but occasionally the angels come in and they're like, mention me, mention me. And I'm like, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> you have, you're have very strongly connected to the angelic realm. Um, with the two of swords here, it's, it's like you're, you're looking at these two different people. Um, and and this, this king or queen of cups is... Um, I only feel like I have a couple male viewers here. I think it's mostly uh, women that are watching this, but I, I, do, I did get the energy that this could possibly be a female um, energy here. With, with this with this King of Cups, um, he or she is, is someone who's very, they're more stable and grounded, and they're, they're, they're damaged. You know, you see this, it's like they have a lot of life experience. You see this, I don't know if you can see like the lightning, like the scar on, on this person's arm. It's like they're just very, um, 
they're very wise and they're very deep and they're they've had a lot of life experience this is this is an old soul this is a more stable person this is a more emotionally deep person their emotions i feel like you might be kind of drawn to drama so i feel like maybe their emotions do get the best of them the same with this other person but they're more um the way they they express their emotions i feel like is is a little bit um different than this other energy does i feel like this person is is more like they're very emotional and they're very deep but they're more likely to just like express their emotions in a loving empathetic way they might want to have heart-to-heart -heart talks they might be a little intense sometimes but it's like they're much more they're just much more grounded they're much more um you know if you get an argument with this person this person is likely to say fuck you whatever if you get an argument with this person this person is more likely to say um you know like this really hurt me like we need to talk about this we need to figure things out like i um you know i, I love you i want to just just if the the depth the emotion and the depth is is pretty much the same with both these people it's just it's just this person has um a much softer more empathetic way of expressing that than this other person does this other person is is more likely to be cold or distant and emotionally unavailable and um you know argue with you and kind of be a little toxic like that or this this other person is just is is just a better option um from what i'm getting from this reading but again with the two of swords here it's like you're kind of you have both these people in your energy field again i don't know if you're actually talking to them yet it could be an ex that wants to come back because I did feel right before I was pulling the cards, I did feel this energy of this this ex that wanted to come back into your life, but they feel very toxic. Like they feel very like it just feels like someone who's kind of just an emotional wreck. And it's like they're not really willing to how do I explain that energy? It's almost like I see them like wanting to text you and be like, hey, I missed you or hey, like, let's talk or hey, like, how are things going? But if you don't reply, they're going to be like, oh, fuck you then. Never mind. You know what I mean? Like they're just really almost like a bipolar energy. This person might be bipolar. It's like they're very quick to. And again, I have plenty of friends that are bipolar, so there's no judgment there. Like I, I totally get it. I'm, I, I understand that energy. I'm not I'm not judging anyone for that. But I'm just saying that 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 person might be bipolar. It's for it's for someone. It's like they're just very quick to be like like fuck you whatever like kind of back and forth between heart and ego where it's like they'll reach out and they'll say something and then they'll be like they'll get mad and you guys will fight or they'll just like they'll play games with you they're just they're hot and cold they're distant and cold and they're they're um you know focused on these other things and they're just kind of they like to play games like they're not fully in it for you um and this other person is is much more is again they're very emotional and passionate just like this king of wands is but they're they're very um their emotions are just it's better it's just it's it's just it's more stable and they're more into you than this person is this person is like kind of just hits you up when they're lonely and frustrated and i feel like you kind of know that this is a toxic situation and so it's like they they it's almost like they go out and they try to play the field and see what else is out there and then no one will deal with their shit and so they come running back to you and see if seeing if you'll still deal with their shit or they do they do miss you sometimes but it's like they just it's like a very codependent kind of energy it's like it's it's not and again they're focused mostly on other things it's kind of like this person might actually have other people that they're talking to and i feel like when shit goes bad with them they come crawling back to you and they're like hey give me another chance i miss you and then you know when you're when you try to set boundaries with them or when you don't reply it's like they get in this energy where they're like fuck you whatever i don't care and so it's just it's not it's not great and i feel like you are very for the the viewers here you know especially fire signs i'm an aries so i i get the fire sign energy and it's it's easy for me to tap into it and I feel like you guys are very passionate and very emotional and very driven. Um, I feel like all the fire signs are, and you guys are very strong and you have a lot of willpower. And so it's like you need this, you need the emotion and the passion to keep things interesting. Like you need someone who's going to keep you on your feet. Like you need that level of depth 
and life experience. Like you need the deep conversations or you get bored. You know what I mean? And I feel like you've been through so much that you can't just be, you can't date a basic person. Like you can't date some basic bitch. You know what I mean? Like you want to date someone who really like gets you on a very deep level. You want to, you want to, you know, be with someone. You need that, that just that passion and that raw emotion and that kind of chemistry there. Like you're not the kind of person who can just, I, I want to give that channel message to a couple of you too, is that you're not the kind of person that can just have a stable kind of relationship, like a normal relationship. So you got to get that in your, out of your head because I feel like family and friends are kind of, I kind of feel like a block from family right now almost, like where they're almost like, oh, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? When are you going to do this? Um, for and again, the, again, this could just be a message for a couple of you. It might not resonate with all of you. I feel like it's a specific message for somebody. But, you know, get it out of your head that you're going to have this stable, healthy, normal relationship. Like, that's not for you. That's not who you are. Like, you should have a stable relationship. Don't get me wrong. Um, I probably worded that in a weird way. Um, I'm saying the emotion and the passion and the romance and the chemistry, all of that has to be there for you or you're not going to be happy. You're not someone who can just marry someone who's a friend. You know what I mean? Like you're not someone who can just be with somebody who you, who looks good on paper, who, you know, treats you really well, but you don't have that same emotional bond with, you know what I mean? You can't marry someone who's just like, oh, well, this person has their finances together and they they've been to college and they you know they have assets and they have money and they have financial stability and they have this and that like that's not for you really like that's not going to keep you happy so you have to get out of to really figure out what kind of relationship you really want you have to get out of your head about society with society standards like you have to let go of that um you really have to just let go of society's standards for, you know, what a healthy, normal relationship should look like. Because again, that's just, that's not going to be enough for you. You're going to get bored and you're going to end up hurting that person because the chemistry and the passion and the romance that you need to thrive was not there. So, so again, stop looking at these normal, you know, healthy couples and stable couples or whatever you want to call it and start being true to what you actually really want and need in a long-term partner. Um, and with, with the Hierophant here, you know, your guides are helping you make these decisions. They're helping you develop your intuition and be aware of these different energies. You might be telepathically connecting with both of them because, again, I don't know if this person has texted you this, this King or Queen of Wands energy. Um, is very hot and cold, unstable energy. I don't know if they've actually texted you recently yet, but I feel like, I feel like them getting... It's almost like they get like drunk or they do drugs and they cry and then like they're dealing with this other shit from these like exes or from from the current partner or, or whoever and they come crawling back to you. But again, if you're not if you're not completely if you don't just bow down to them and do everything you want, then it's like they're like, fuck you, never mind. Do you know what I mean? Like this person, you don't have this person's heart, to be honest. Like you really don't. It's it's just more of a codependency with this person. Um it's, it's more just someone who doesn't want to be alone and, and you're there. And so it's like there's that familiarity there, but it's it's not, it's like you're old reliable to them. You're not, and you don't want that kind of connection. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, with the Two of Swords, the Hierophant here, your guides are helping you make these decisions. They're helping you choose um, between these two different people. And it's, it's up to you. Do you want to go down the same path as before? Or do you want someone who, who does have the same level of passion and chemistry and, and emotion and you know just this depth that the other person has but they're more um they're just more stable and grounded they're more sure of themselves they're more sure of you they're more sure of what they want um I feel like sex with this person might be really good because I noticed like, I'm, I'm like really drawn to his chest <laughs> I'm like I feel like sex with this person might be like kind of like almost like a spiritual connection that you guys have when you guys have sex or if you guys have sex in the future I almost feel like it's like it's different um and so yeah it's like it's this very again the same level of passion depth emotion but just it is expressed in a much different way with this person than it is with this person and this person cares a lot more they're a lot more um 
I mean, I feel like this is someone who's independent and strong and they've been through a lot. So it's almost like they could take it or leave it to some degree, but they know, I feel like they know that they want you. Like, I don't feel like they're unsure about you. I feel like, I feel like they do know, um, that you guys have a deep spiritual bond. I don't feel like they're in denial about that. Um, I feel like a much more patient energy here, too. I almost feel like you guys, like, mirror each other, where this is, like, a soulmate connection, um, or a twin flame, or a soulmate, maybe a soulmate, probably, but I almost, I just feel this energy, like, you guys kind of mirror each other, and it's, like, I almost feel like they, they bring out, like, the emotional unavailability in you. It's, like, they're so... Like, there, I don't, how do I explain that? It's like, there's just very grounded, but very deep and very spiritual energy with this person. And it's like, it's almost like they make you realize that you have some emotional unavailability yourself to work through. Because with this other person, it was toxic. And so it's like, you never, you might have loved them, but it's like, you never really, it's like you knew subconsciously, you knew spiritually, it was not ever going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? And so you chase this person but it's like you kind of knew that it was not um, for you. And with this person, they're just so much more grounded. They're so much more like, like, hey, I'm not going to play those games with you. You're fucking in or you're out. I'm all yours if you're in. I'm all out if you're out. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do the, I'm not going to get drunk and text you. I'm not going to fucking cry about it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, be hot and cold. I'm not playing that game. You know what I mean? And I almost feel like it brought out some emotional unavailability in you like it made you realize that you usually go for this this king or queen of wands type energy and you're like holy shit like this person is like it's just different <laughs> you're like oh wow this person is like is for real <laughs> this you know um and with the six of swords you're leaving the past behind you're leaving behind the things that were holding you back and you're making this decision between these people I do want to say, though, that this king or queen of cups might be kind of done with your shit. Like, they're stable and they're grounded and they're good for you, but I think that they're also... I just think that they're a very... I think they're an emotionally available person and they're kind of tired of being doubted. They're kind of tired of... Um, God, how do I explain that energy? I feel like they're just, they're not chasing you. They're definitely not chasing you. I don't think they have the patience for that. Um, they might, this could be someone who thinks that you know how they feel and you might not actually know how they feel, which could be a problem because it could be someone who like, it's a very deep person. Like I said, they're on your level with, with depth and emote in that raw emotion and that, um, just that, that, that romance and that passion that you guys have together. But I feel like or that you guys would have together for some of you. Um, but I just feel like maybe they maybe you, you maybe they don't know that you know how they feel. And like maybe they or sorry, they're just they're just, they're just confused. Like I don't think that I think this person's a dreamer, so I almost feel like I mean, there's this telepathic bond for sure. I will say that. There's a very spiritual, deep connection there. But I almost feel like maybe they, they dream so much that they just kind of feel like you just know. Like, they just kind of feel like it's obvious, and maybe it's not obvious to you um, as much as they would as much as they would like to believe. And it's just as if you've been going back to an ex or a toxic situation and kind of leaving them on a hold... Or you haven't been sure about what they want, about what you want. And again, it's not really necessarily your fault because maybe you don't know how this person feels. I mean, maybe, like, maybe this is the first time you're really, it's really hitting you about how this person feels about you. Maybe you didn't get it before. Like, maybe they just didn't fully express it as much as they thought they did. Maybe they dropped some hints here and there and they just thought that would be enough and you didn't really get it. Um... I just get this energy of them seeing you as amazing and them loving you and them, you know, feeling 
like this deep connection with you like they feel like they, they feel this really i'm getting like emotional talking about it it's weird channeling this energy it's like they feel this bond and either now or in the past they they did feel like you were their person um but i'm kind of getting the energy now that they almost feel like you're like unstable or you're unsure of what you want or who you are It's like this person is this person is very loyal and they're very sure of themselves. I'm just trying to I'm trying to explain this king or queen of cups energy. It's like they're just looking forward and they're just kind of kind of neutral. It's like they're in their space. It's like they're they're open to new love coming in, I feel. Because I feel like whatever whatever connection that you guys have or whatever like this situation has been with you two, I feel like they've just kind of gotten tired of it. Like if you were to like really commit to them and like be emotional with them and and be vulnerable with them maybe you have more maybe you're not as emotionally available as you think you are but i feel like if you were to have these these deep honest necessary talks with them if you were to tell them how you feel if you were to um and again if this is your story you're gonna know so don't go tell some ass hat how you feel make sure it's the right person um but it's, it's almost like if you told them how you feel and you had these deep talks with them and you let go of the the um, the third party situation, whatever, where it's just another person or it's just work or things coming in between you. Um, if you were just to let go of all the things, like all the blocks that are separating you two, if you were to let go of all those things and... Um, And just really make this effort and commitment and like be vulnerable like you've never been vulnerable before um and show them that you care i do feel like there is still some hope there but again they're they're up for grabs right now i feel like this person is a really good person and they could get swooped up soon i'm not gonna lie this person is is spiritual and and deep and honest and genuine and they have so much life experience and they're so grounded in that life experience. They're just so, they're like, they would be your rock if you guys were together. It's like, they're just so sure of who they are and what they want. Like this person is a rock. This person is, this person is just so, like, so, it's just such a beautiful energy because it's like, they're so deep and vulnerable, but they're so solid in that. It's not like an unstable kind of emotion. It's, it's like, they're just, they're so emotional, but they express it in such a pure, like they just express raw emotion. They express it in such a pure, vulnerable way. They're just, this person is just full of light. Um, this is a really good person to be around. You know, if, if this is, this is an ex or something you might want to save the friendship at the very least because this person is also very very strong and once they feel like someone's bad for them they're they're not going to go back to it at a certain point you know um they they still have love for you they they're still open to the possibility of that connection but again as time goes on, they're seeing you as a more unstable option. They're seeing you as more um, just unstable, ungrounded, unsure of yourself, um, someone who's going to hurt them, someone who's going to be, you know, hot and cold, or someone who's going to take them for granted, someone who's, who's just... Uh, you know, not going to give them the same emotion and depth that they're looking for in a partner. And they're, they're starting to see you as just, you know, as someone that, that, again, they love and they have that strong spiritual bond with, but they're kind of like looking at you like, yeah, you're not going to, like, you're never going to step up. They're kind of giving up on you. They're kind of like, yeah, you're never going to, you know, match me. You're never going to step up and, and have these honest, deep talks with me. You're never going to step up and um, tell me how you feel about me. You're never going to be romantic with me like you used to be or like you could be. You're never going to, um, you know, you're, ne you're never going to love me as much as I love you <laughs> is basically what it is. You're, you know, they feel, yeah, they just, they, they're, they're a king or a queen and they have this empty throne next to them and they're open to you filling it, but they don't have a lot of faith in you anymore. They don't have a lot of faith that you're actually going to step up and, and, and be assertive and forward and honest and vulnerable with them and and sit in this throne next to them so they're kind of just they're kind of just open they're just open to love right now i feel um 
And, and so I just want to give you guys that warning because this person is an amazing person and someone might come sweep them off their feet. Someone might be like, holy shit, that's my king or that's my queen. That's like, they're going to realize all the things that you didn't see, like all the things that you weren't seeing in them, they're going to see it. And they're going to be like, holy shit, that's my person. And they're, they're going to fill that throne. And once they do, this person is very loyal and committed. So once they set their eyes on someone else and start devoting that energy to someone else, you're out of the picture. You're gone. You're done. You're, they're not going to, they're, they're loyal. They're not going to go back to it. You know what I mean? They're once they, once they have that, their person, that's their person possibly for life. Um, I do kind of feel actually like this life partner energy with this person where it's like, it's going to be, it's either going to be you that's their life partner or it's going to be someone else. And I feel like these changes are happening, um, almost like right now, <laughs> like I just, um, yeah, because this person is just so open to love. They're so vulnerable. They're so, despite all the pain, they're so willing to be vulnerable. And it's like, someone is going to appreciate that. Um, and so again, you might, if you know who this is and this is your story and this is resonating, you might want to reach out to that person because you're not going to, you're not going to get a second chance. <laughs> like you're, you're not going to, they're, they're still single, but I don't think they're going to be for long and you're not going to get another chance once they're taken. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that it's, it's when reading energy, sometimes usually I can tell if it's another person or if it's you, but sometimes it's the energy, energy is always tricky. And so this could be, um, this could potentially be for some of you, um, someone else who has been, you know, unstable and just kind of in and out and um and then this other person is it's just so much more grounded so yeah the roles could totally be reversed for a couple of you i feel where it's like you know this person your person has two different options and they have the unstable karmic ex um or car you know current karmic partner or they have you and you're more emotional and open and um and they're about to lose you if they don't get their shit together because you're getting over it. You know, it's, it's however the energy plays out, but that's the energy I got. I keep getting the moon. I feel like the moon's going to do some weird shit here for all of us soon because the moon keeps coming out on my readings. <laughs> so I feel like there's a strong emphasis on the, um, the moon phases right now. All right, guys, let's see. So what actions? You got two different people again, so it's kind of I mean, it's kind of a chaotic, unstable energy, honestly. Like it's up to you. It's up to you to follow your heart. What do you want? You want the same old shit, same old patterns you've always had, or you want something real? You want something that's gonna push you over the edge and require honesty and vulnerability and require you to face your demons and face yourself and and be you know the person you really want to be or you want to you want to stick to the familiar codependent toxic patterns it's your choice your guides are, are again guiding you to make this choice they're, they're there for you they're helping you but it's ultimately your decision you do have free will well let's see what are your um the chaos card and the fragment card so this person has taken a part of you i think this person is a part of you they've taken a part of you um all right so what is what's your your person's what is their most likely what do we need to know about this relationship, this, these connections? Like, what do you, what's going on here? The moon, fucking moon again. I don't know what the moon's about to do, but it's about to do some shit. So you might, you might start having some, some visions or something of this person when the moon energy, like with like the full moon or the new moon. I feel like the last one we had was really strong and that might have brought this person in or it might be bringing this person in back into your energy field um yeah it's it's, it's there's it's just intuition it's mystery it's a really good it's a good card to get you know so the warrior so again you do have this warrior in front of you um you do have this this your match you have your your equal is in either your equal is either it's either right in front of their face or in front of your face again it, it depends on how the energy uh, what energy you're resonating with, but it's it's like you're you've got this true love here. You've got this person right here um, And we have differences fulfillment oh, crap. 
oath and success. Okay, interesting. <laughs> What I get from this card, from these this setup, is is almost like, do you see the black and white cat? It's like they're, again, I intuitively read the card, so it's however I feel about it at the time. I almost feel like maybe you guys had some differences that concerned you, but it's not as it's almost like it's like it's white and black. It's 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 dark and light. It's 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 this beautiful balance. It's like you're the you're the yin to their yang kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm drawn to the fruit. I don't know what fruit means to you. I don't know if you guys ate fruit together. Maybe there's a specific message. There's a lot of fruit. There's actually fruit and alcohol in, this, in these cards. So it's like, a, I don't know, something about, about drinking and, and eating fruit together. <laughs> Again, probably only a message for one of you. Spirits, that can weird sometimes. You guys know that. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but it's almost like, I feel like you, I think, I think that you're, I feel like you're the black hat here and I feel like you are kind of scared that your darkness and that your, um, your, your pain and your trauma and your energy would scare this person off. You're like, oh, they're too light for me, but it's like, they're, it's not, it's like, they're looking at you and they, you see the, the white cat's looking at the black cat like, no, that's like my person. That's like, that's the yin to my yang. It's like, we're, we're good. You know, like you're not, you're not too dark for them. You're not too lost or too damaged for them. It's just your insecurities. It's just you getting lost in your head and you driving yourself in circles and like self-sabotaging and you want to get out of that energy. You know, there might be some differences here in personality, but I feel like, and you wouldn't know what those would be, but I don't feel like they're a huge deal. I feel like you guys balance each other out in all the right ways. And again, you both have that depth and passion to like, you you both, I don't know, like you, you just have such a deep spiritual bond that I really do feel good about it. I do for this person. But again, there's two different people. There's one that's toxic and there's one that's not toxic. So you'll know if this is your read, you're going to know who's who. Um, but we have, okay, so we have fulfillment here. That was the card we showed before. Where it's like, this is like a sexual energy. It's like lust, seduction, love, but it's like, it's passion. This is to me, look at the wine. It's like passionate. It's like, this person is just your rock. You know what I mean? Like, despite the differences, you guys balance each other out in the right ways. And so this would be a really fulfilling relationship, but you'd have to take an oath. You got to figure your shit out. You got to figure out what you want and what you don't want. And you have to take an oath. And if you want this person you better do it now because <laughs> you're going to want, again, once they're single, once they get with someone, you're not going to get another chance. You're going to, you, it's, they're already looking at you as more and more of an, an unstable, like I said, like they're, they're looking at you every day as, as, I mean, I don't even think they think about you all the time or anything like that. I think it's just kind of like you're an option in the back of, in the back of their head now, but it, it's almost like as time goes on, it's like that connection becomes like, like, they're just starting to see it, like, oh, yeah, that person, like, just, is just someone that just hurt me and let me down. Like, they're not seeing, they're kind of almost forgetting the spiritual bond you guys have. They're kind of almost just forgetting that emotional connection that you guys had. Like, they're not, they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, this person is, like, someone who, like, hurt me and let me down and, and, you know, I deserve better. Like, they're, um, like, they just, they just don't fully trust you. And so it's like, I don't even think that this person is, I think that they still have love for you, but again, I don't think that they're like thinking about you all the time or anything like that. I feel like they're just kind of like, they get, I think they, they do want love. Like they're kind of wondering like, where's my person at? Like I'm a really good person. I deserve that. Um, so they do want love and you know, you're always like in their energy field to some degree and like they do, they do still want you. They are open to the connections. So I don't want to like confuse you guys because I know the energy seems mixed, but it, it's more like... <sighs> It's more like this is just a connection where they were let down, where they were not, um, like, like they did not, and, and again, maybe they didn't tell you how they felt, so maybe it's their fault. It could totally be their fault. It could be on them. I'm not saying it's not, but, but either way, they felt let, let down and disappointed and, and hurt, and they felt like trust was lost, and they felt, um, they felt, you know, this could just be someone, it might not necessarily be that you like broke their heart, but it could just be that you didn't do anything. It could be that they felt like they were opening up to you and you just kind of like, like they had to initiate conversation first or like you just, you just didn't really like, 
it could be their fault. Like it could totally, maybe they should have like initiated conversation more. Maybe they were just kind of like, maybe they gave you like, again, this is like a dreamer. So maybe it's just someone who like thought that they, that you knew how they felt and you didn't really know as much as they thought you did. You know what I mean? And so they're like, oh fuck, she didn't hear, she didn't do anything. But it's like, well, how could you have, you didn't know, like you weren't aware that it was that serious for them. Um, but, but again, it's, it's just like, it's just this energy where it's like, they, they just felt even, even if it's just in their head, even if you didn't actually reject them, they felt rejected. They felt unwanted. They felt, um, that you were not emotionally open and interested and emotionally available to them. So again, maybe they, they, they whatever reason they felt it, it doesn't matter. That is how they felt. And, um, so it's like, yes, they're open, but they, again, when they look at you, it's kind of like they see someone who like wasn't there for them. They see someone who, who, um, is not going to step up and, and sit on their throne next to them, you know, like they, they just see you as this unstable energy, someone who's uncertain of what you, what they want. You might've, you might've gone back to an ex or gone back to someone else instead and chosen someone else over them. And so they might, they might just be like, that, that, I mean, I think for some of you, you guys did do that. Cause I do see this third party energy too, um, in this reading. And so it's like, do you still have a chance with this person? Yes, I feel like you do, but I feel like you only have a chance if you give it everything. If you take this oath, like if you're like, you give them a heartfelt apology and you're like, you know what, I'm never going to fuck up something good like that again. Um, if you're like, you know what, I'm going to be emotionally open to you. I'm going to like, let's go on a date. Let's do this. Let's, um, you know, give me another chance type energy. Like I, I'm going to show you that I can be the king or the queen that you want. Um, kind of energy, like proving yourself, like stepping up for them, cutting out the third party karmic situation. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever was blocking you, you know, it shouldn't be up to them to get rid of what was blocking you. It's, it's up to you too, to get rid of those blocks for you guys. Um, you both need to do that. Um, so do you have another chance? Yes. But again, only if you, if, only if you take this oath energy, only if you're really willing to put the, the time and effort in and, and win them back or, um, or just show them, you know, like, like again, they're just, they're open to love in general. They're, they're just, they're open to love. They just kind of play it by ear and see what happens. So it really, if you send them a message, it kind of just depends on what the message says. If you say, hi, what's up? They're probably going to ignore that shit. But if you, if you're heartfelt and you're genuine and you're forward and honest, and again, you know, if this is your story, so don't be, don't be like that with some fucking douchebag. Make sure this is the right person you're thinking of. Um, and you'll, you should know. I think that you're, you guys are intuitive enough, intuitive, intuitive enough. I think that you should know. But yeah, so it's like, yes, you do have a chance, but you only have a chance if you do it right. If you're, if you're all in and you let this person know that they are your person, um, and you let them know how much you appreciate and value them and you're, you're really willing to, to do it because again, this person is going to get swooped up soon. I see another, I see that this person has a lot of potential love interest around. I feel like they're, there's someone who's very, um, probably very physically attractive and they're very charming and their personality and their strength and their, they're just their, their courage. They're just so different than most people. And I think that energy makes them even more attractive. So this person has a lot of potential suitors around. So I would not, again, if this is your person and your story and you want this person and you, you're, you know that I would not wait another day. I would not fuck around anymore with this person because you don't have the chance to anymore. They're not, they're not playing games. This person is strong. They're not, they're not doing it with the games. They're not doing it with the back and forth. You go back to your ex or you're not getting this person back again. It's not, you know what I mean? Like you keep going back and forth. They're not going to do the back and forth anymore. They're over that shit. Um, but if you do make this, if you do make that oath and you do step into that energy of courage and raw emotion and passion and this willingness to be vulnerable and honest with them and to work on your faults, then, then you do have a, a successful love story here. Um, and, and again, for those of you that are resonating with this energy, but it's reversed, then it, that would just mean that, so for most of you, I feel like the ball is in your court from what I was getting from this energy. But, um, but again, for if, you know, energy is confusing sometimes. So if the, if the story is reversed, then it, it just means that, that you have a bunch of potential suitors around you and this person that, you know, could be a life partner 
it was about to lose you. But, you know, you have love coming in either way. You both do. You both have love all around you right now. It's a really good time for love with, um, with you guys right now. Like, there's just this potential for, I get, like, a very deep, long-term life partner kind of energy in this read. So it's like you guys, and you guys both have that. So it's like, it's really, it's good. It's, it's, it's a really, it's, it's a good read overall, I feel. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If this resonated, please like, and please comment too, because, um, you know, when I get comments and likes on my videos, then it helps YouTube promote, it makes, it, YouTube promotes my videos when I get those. Like, if you share, if you subscribe, if you like, if you comment, comments really help me because it shows that people are engaging and people are liking my content, and then they promote my videos more, which helps me make, get more views and more subscribers, so I really appreciate you guys for reaching out if this resonated. Thank you for watching.